When the door to Stalin's Meat Market in Coleraine opened today at noon, David Moore was the first customer inside. I come here because it's fresh. Selling fresh, locally produced meat meant the shop's counters started looking bare about a month ago. And they were busy. The meat counters were just about empty. And they were carrying food out in boxes. It was wild. We'd open up in the morning at 7.30, our normal hours, and the meat case would look like a destruction zone. John Stalen says the family-run butcher shop is now open from noon to six weekdays to meet the surge in demand for beef, pork, and chicken. I don't want to get the public shook, shook up over this. Um, we're doing our best to keep a good supply on hand, and there is plenty. We're just asking you as, as the public to say, you know, step, take a step back slow down. There's no need to hoard. Stalin feels that way knowing full well cases of COVID-19 have forced giant meat processing plants to close temporarily. I mean, that's going to have an effect on things, there's no doubt. But Stalin says if a store doesn't have one cut of meat, you have other options. So whatever we're missing, buy something else. You know, there's plenty there. Stalin thinks President Trump's executive order for meatpacking plants to stay open as safely as possible makes sense since it appears more customers are worried that their favorite cuts of meat will start flying off the shelf. It's not life and death yet, and I don't think it was coming close to that either. Now, a spokeswoman for Kroger told me this morning the grocery chain is working with its suppliers to better understand the impact of those plant closures that I mentioned. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.